they're using the drawing table, the parallel rules, and the equipment. They're all issued equipment at the beginning of the year, and they go through basically a, a series of, of concepts and drawings that get increasingly more difficult. Whether we're doing you know, developments like your Captain Crunch cereal box was laid out flat and then folded up and doing different types of developments or doing auxiliary drawings or basically just standard orthographic type drawings. Through the process of learning how to actually create a drawing, they're also learning how to read a blueprint. Well, a blueprint's nothing more than a copy of a drawing. Design processes is basically a drafting class. You know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, and it's another way to communicate. If you can, you know, draw your ideas, draw your designs, and then they have architectural drafting, but I like to refer to it as architecture simply because we do talk a lot and deal a lot with architecture in general, because we'll study, you know, historic ar architecture, we'll look at contemporary architecture, but in reality, the majority of the course is spent in residential design and each student actually designs their own house for a particular lot in or around Carmel and at the end of the year they will come up with a presentation of their design that goes before our vocational board of directors and one of them gets chosen to actually be built the following year by our vocational class. The design process is, is an entry-level class. Uh, the prerequisite for architectural drafting is either intro to engineering design or design processes. They've got to have that basic fundamental, uh, the fundamentals down. This, this class is not based on any state curriculum. I mean, it, it is in, to some degree, but most of what I teach and the way it's been taught is, is based on feedback from students that have gone into architecture school or have gone into engineering or some other technology field. And I'm always looking for input from, from past students in terms of what was good, what was bad. And so it, it's a course that's evolved. And, and it has helped uh, a lot of students, you know, going on to that next level of it, their education.